<laughs> Let me, uh, I'll try it with Andrea. You know, if you look at it on paper, here's a guy who's more seasoned than the current president, President Bush. He's got more military experience. He's been exactly. around a long time in terms of national responsibility. He's been a patriot, of course. He served his country brutally as a POW. He's always been honest and respected in the media. He has all the pluses in the world of a sort of a, you know, an Audie Murphy, if you will, a real war hero. It's not working. It isn't working, and I wouldn't count him out if, it, except for the money factor, because now everything is piled up, and this race is so extraordinarily expensive that it's hard to imagine how we can compete. We've seen already how uh, Mitt Romney was able to pull ahead of some of the others just by putting ads up. Well, and one of his John top McCain guys was talking kind of to me. I'm sorry, one of his top guys was talking to me on the phone today, and it was off the record. But I think he's out elsewhere making the same point, which is this burn rate. He's using up his money too much. Is that a problem? And that could have something to do with what we saw today, the staff shakeup. These are the people who were in charge of the money, and they were obviously spending it on the wrong things or spending too much, or there's another story there, but there's some concern clearly about the way this campaign is organized. You know, they I rejected, know that, they rejected I, this, but I think the idea of him quitting the Senate and showing he's fully in this race is not such a bad idea. Now, that was rejected. Oh, I don't know. That, that this, was rejected. This man's uh, life is in Senate public for, service. Yeah. How could you imagine he's not him giving Said, I mean, he's such hey, a long me. shot for the presidency. <laughs> and no, you and I are in the same boat. Good John Edwards, and, I'll give you that. <laughs> you and I are in the same boat. This man wants to be Barry Goldwater, a senator for life from Arizona. He does not. It's one of the reasons why he wants immigration reform. He wants to get some Latino votes down there. He doesn't want to be known as the Republican Party that doesn't like Latinos. And he's he taking a very liberal it. position. Well, he does believe in it, but also it's good politics yeah, for a guy. My like point him. is there's a real feeling he's not fully in this race. He only held two fun fundraisers in the first quarter. That's been part of his problem. He hadn't really been committed to fundraising. Okay. So his commitment to the Look campaign is in this question. This is so instructive. Andrew, we're watching him just a moment ago sort of get, did one of the, what they call the mic check for one of these debates. I think he's miniaturized by standing among 10 Republicans a man of his uh, seasoning and vintage to have to go out there and stand between Tancredo and Duncan Hunter and all these new guys. I, I don't think it works. You're on to something, Chris. If he were standing with Rudy Giuliani and Mitt Romney, you know, just a handful of guys stacked up against them, his experience in foreign affairs, his experience in the Senate, I think, would really dominate a debate. Yeah. But by having to, you know, debate everybody else in that lineup, it becomes much more difficult to stand out. Well, he's going to New Hampshire this weekend, so we'll see if he shows us something a little different. Let me, let me be, uh, let's get into the, to the really worst part of my job, which is to talk about what happens if he does continue to sink. Andrea, who wins? Who picks up the McCain vote? Does it all go to Fred Thompson, his friend? Does it go to yeah. his fellow maverick, Rudy Giuliani, or not exactly fellow maverick, but a man who has some things in common with, Rudy Giuliani?